Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima. And first of all, I'd like to say that I had to re-record the introduction as I, I lost the introduction video. Uh, but the rest of the video is going to stay the same. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how we can use VI as a quick addition tool. You don't need VI. Some people use VI for uh, coding itself. It's actually a Vim uh, tool, which is a, a little bit better than VI, has more developing features. But I don't really think you need to go to the whole uh, uh, learning curve. It's, it's a, an awesome tool, but there is a very big learning curve. Right? And we have a lot of tools available today for free, like IntelliJ Community Edition. We have uh, Visual Studio Code. We have uh, Sublime and we have uh, Code, uh, sorry, uh, Atom. So we have a lot of options, right? But you do need VI in order to edit some files in a Unix server, right? There, is, there isn't anything else available for you there, right? The only option that you could have is copy the file to a computer, edit, and then copy back to the Unix server, but that's not practical, right? So I'm going to be talking about a little bit how the basic commands that you need to edit a file. And in my opinion, that's basically what you need to do. Uh, if you haven't watched any of the videos, I'm going to be posting uh, the links here so you can see how we can we, we set up everything uh, related to prof Unix profile, Unix terminal, and so on. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And let's start. So I have a, a terminal here, and we're going to be editing the bash RC file. So you edit it using vi, the vi command, which is, if we look at the man, it's a vim improved uh, text editor, right? So Mac comes with a vim, which is the same as, a, it's an improved vi, right? If you are on a vanilla Unix, it's going to be vi. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be vim, right? Vim has a code highlighting, it has more options, a lot more options than vi. So I'm going to type vi and enter the command that uh, the file that you like to edit. And in our case, it's going to be the bash rc, which is the file that has our aliases. Right, so great. Um, the first thing that I, know, that, I, that I need to tell you is that, okay, you enter, you, you don't have access to control, uh, uh, to a mouse, your mouse is going to be there for just highlighting or copying, or copying something, but you don't have a click, a, a, a cursor here with a mouse. Your cursor needs to be with a uh, with the keyboard, right? and you have all uh, total, total control of your your cursor. Right? So the first thing is how you can insert. So you choose where you're going to try to insert and you type the letter E for insert and you're going to see that on the bottom it's on an insertion mode. If I hit ask, it leaves the insertion mode, meaning that in insertion mode I can type anything and on on uh, when I'm not on an insertion mode, the, the letters, the keyboard is going to do spe, uh, special commands. It's not going to be typing uh, in the the text in a file, right? So let's create a alias here. I'm going to say alias and I'm going to say edit profile. And I'm going to give it a name of vi home dash dash rt. Great, and I, I typed ask to edit, to, to leave it, right? So now I would like to save the file. In order for me to save, I need to, to uh, hit shift column, and you will see that the cursor moved down here, and now I can type some specific command. I can type Q for Quill exclam exclamation to leave without editing. So if I go back, what we did is not here. I left without editing. Right? So I can 
type anything here and now I can do columns with I need to type the column so I need to use the shift and W for write and he wrote the file right if I leave and if I come back it's there I can type something else anything else and if I try to quit it says you try to there is changes you didn't save so I can use the the exclamation mark or to leave without saving or I can leave and save which is W to write and Q to quit so if I go back here it wrote and it left anything else part 2 so instead of using W and Q you can put X which is the same as write and leave so now I have here all of these commands I'm going to be making available for you right you don't have to memorize it right now so I can also uh, once I'm on an insertion mode the delete is going to work the backspace is going to work right if I'm not on insertion mode none of these is going to work not not the delete does but not the backspace right but I deleted something here I didn't want to delete that so if I'm not on insertion mode, I can type, I can hit U for undo, and it's going to undo anything that I that I did that I don't want, that I just want to undo. So I have the undo also as well, right? Um, what else? All right. So when I enter, so let's let's put that same file here on that we that we did, right? So. Uh, that same alias that we created and I deleted. So this time I'm going to copy and paste the exact same line. So I don't need to use the mouse. The the VI uh, clipboard is different than the computer clipboard. So the VI is going to cache differently. So I can just hit double Y, Y, Y. And when I hit the letter P for paste, it's going to paste the command that I that was in the cursor when I type double Y. Right, so now I can come here, I can edit the file, and I can just change here, which is going to be uh, edit profile. And instead of cat, I want to do a VI. I hit ask, I save, I use my resource command, which is going to reload everything. And now I can say VI, I need to go into my bash, and now I can say VI uh, edit profile. It's here, right? Great. Awesome. So you notice that when my bash executed it says anything not found. So this is this is wrong, right? This is not a valid command. So this anything here is not should not be here, right? So what I need to do is I need to remove it. I, I don't need to delete line by line, uh, uh, character by character. I can remove the whole line. So there is a special command which I can actually crop everything, right? So it's called DD, double D. When I do double D, the whole line was gone. But it's actually it's, it's not deleting. It's a crop and in, in storing that. So I can put my cursor right back here. And if I use the paste without the insertion mode, because if I use P for pasting with insertion mode, it's actually going to type the P. Right? If I try to use my clipboard, it's going to paste whatever it was on my operation system clipboard. But if I'm not on insertion mode and I type P, it's going to paste the exactly line that I cropped out with DD. So this is very useful. Maybe I want to just remove this line and put it here. I do DD and I paste it. The line is here. All right, so let me undo. All right. Awesome. So now we there is some 
also commands that helps us navigate into a file. When you are on a big file, right, you can hit the, uh, it's, you don't want to be holding the, 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 you don't want to be holding the down in the up arrow a long time, right? It's a big file. You just want to go to the end of the file. You want to go to the top of the file. So what you do is there is a command called Shift G, which you can see that the cursor was on the on. We went to the bottom of the file, and if I type G G, it goes to the to the to the beginning of the file. So Shift G goes to the end. GG goes to the beginning. This is very useful. I'm going to open a bigger file in a, in a moment and I'll show you. Okay. So, and I can also search. So, let me put some extra uh, names here QAOPS, QAOPS. So I can also search in this file, right? So if I if I'm not on insertion mode, remember that insertion mode is for you to type. Without the insertion mode, it's going to do different kind of commands here. So the forward slash, you can see that it typed forward slash, and now I can type something that I would like to search for, and I'm going to type QA ops. And it found QA ops. If I hit the letter N for next, it's going to find the next QA ops. And if I keep typing N, it's going to find the next and the next and the next. If I type Shift N, it's going to do backwards. It's going to go back to the previous one, right? So let me delete whatever we didn't need. Everything here is crap. Awesome. So let me remove it. So let me show you a bigger file. So we have been playing with my with a bash RC, but I actually use Z shell, ZSH, and ZSH has a ZSH RC file. So if I do VI ZSH RC it's going to open this file. So you can see that this is a pretty big file, right? And I, I don't want to be hovering over that file. So I can just use Shift G to go to the very end of that file. And I can do double G to go to the very beginning of that file. And you're going to notice that on the very end, there is a source for the ZSC profile custom. So this is what I showed in the previous video, how you can, in your profile file, how you can source another file. So the, this ZSCSH is very specific to a library, a framework that I use, but there are some files that some, some there are uh, places where I want to do my, my extra configurations, my aliases, my my exports, everything that I'm setting up that I show you how to do, I'm doing on my custom ZSH profile. And this is what I'm actually doing. I'm making my ZSHRC file source those. Right? So this is basically what I wanted to show you. This is a shorter video, but I didn't want to give you more information. In, this, in VI, it's already a lot of stuff. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're going to be keep involving these these commands and every command that I'm that I'm showing you, I'm going to be using more and more often, right? So we need to get used more and more and more uh, uh, with these commands and it be more natural. It needs to be very natural, the same way as you use a mouse, a keyboard, or any other computer or any other program. The same way you use uh, a file editor, and the same way you use uh, the browser in this is this this needs to be uh, natural right so thank you for watching this far